it's time to get to building it on Don because we have hit the level cap and there ain't no way up then by upgrading our settlement a little bit more. So welcome back to Undone, everybody. Hope you're out there. Have an absolutely fan freaking testing day of the most days of variety. Little keeps on getting better from here on out. Today, we got some settlement upgrades we got to do over here at our homestead and just some building in general. However, the upgrade cost to get to level three is going to require some sheet material and some uh, clay bricks, which can be crafted from the construction material workbench, which sounds like something that we gotta go ahead and meander our way in to do. We're gonna be crafting up some additional workbenches and expanding our base as well, because today, today's just a base building type of day. And then we will continue the main quest too, because we have hit level 25, so we can continue moving forward. Yeah, love uh, to see it. So let's go over here to our construction workbench, and we are going to vaunt. Uh, let's get seven of that sheet material. Ooh, we're gonna have to get a little bit more super glue if we want to keep building okay interesting uh and then what was the other thing we needed the clay bricks i believe it was yeah we're gonna have to get some clay to make that happen and it appears like we might need a quick trip to tony to get our hands on some more clay uh we could also get it from recycled oh never mind i'm not even going over there man i'm just gonna do it right from here oh never mind no this is from the gold store i don't have some of that at the moment please leave a message after the beep so it sounds like to tony we're gonna oh no i can access it right from here never mind never mind never mind we're good we're good we're good uh okay wait hold on let's not max out that hard uh what do i need man let's get like 10 for good measure we got a good amount of silver over here uh there we go i don't want to be spending all of my silver uh immediately and then let's also go ahead and get our hands on about 10 of this super glue right here and wonderful now we should be able to just kidding i gotta get 10 more of that my math is off i'm sorry man it's a weekend i try not to do too much math on the weekends uh i'm just gonna go ahead let's get 10 more of those puppies and 10 more of those puppies and we should be able to craft up everything that we need wonderful 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 whoa bang let's max craft the clay bricks and and those are gonna be nice and done and then let's go ahead and max craft the sheet material and those are gonna be done and then we should now be able to go and do a little bit of an upgrade uh what you recall we should also be able to over here we actually have a few like missions yeah like to craft a mechanic station and a few things like that so you know just kind of want to build up as many workbenches as we can to make sure that we are getting the most of things but over here we now have everything that we need i crafted way more than i needed to but whatever we're gonna be unlocking some new building formulas as well oh a treadmill get a little bit of exercise at home so without further ado upgrade that puppy and we have now increased our level cap to 29, which should suffice for a little bit. Uh, we're definitely going to want to go above 29 because uh, I want to keep leveling up. Uh, so what's it going to take to get us to level four out of curiosity? Uh, actually, some of the same stuff. So while we're at it, man, let's just let's just let's just upgrade to level four. Little two birds, one stone. Let's craft up some more materials. All right, this time I'm buying 50 of these suckers. So we got plenty of room to spare. Oh, actually, now hold on. We're going to be running a little bit low on wood. So we might need to do a little bit of uh, resource collecting as well while we are at it. <laughs> well, well, well. I suppose there's no better time than the present for us to get our hands on a little bit more of these materials. So don't mind me. Just going to go ahead and chop down a few trees. Get a little bit of wood and then we'll go ahead and harvest a couple of stones get a little bit of stone and take things from there and all right after a quick little field trip let's see how we are looking in terms of the supplies i didn't do the math i'm just hoping that i hit enough rocks where i can craft nine of them uh we're gonna be one short aren't we okay i'm gonna have to go and hit like one more rock but everything else bang bang bing bang boom we're looking good plenty of materials on that side of things we just gotta get like one more clay brick i'm uh pretty sure or a uh, little, little bit more stone so i mean hopefully there's just a rock waiting out here for us uh because yeah i don't think i have everything oh no we do we already have some existing things all right whatever i digress i can't count for the life of me on a weekend <laughs> but without further ado let's upgrade this puppy up to level four which increases our level cap up to 35 which is a pretty good point for us to go ahead and end off on because actually by upgrading uh this to level four I believe we unlock the ability to dismantle some of the things kind of loitering around our base here. I believe that'll get us some resources as well. Oh, 10 wood, okay. I mean, it did technically get us some resources. I was hoping for a little bit more than that, but we have just unlocked the ability to dismantle a bunch of the stuff, which now means we should have a lot more room to build, which is gonna be massive. Obviously level 35 character cap, which is huge because I really want to hit level 30 because that's when we unlock a heavy weapon and uh, i would love to be able to use weapons especially since they're they're especially if they're heavier 
you know, because that means they do the boom, boom. I think there's like a sniper rifle, a grenade launcher. There's some crazy things uh, to choose from. But okie dokie, artichokey. With that, we've got our level four homestead like we were wishing for. Let's go over here into the building mode. Let's go ahead and see what type of resource, not resources, but uh, workbenches. We might be able to go ahead and craft over here. We got the blueprint drafting table, raw material bench, grill, construction workbench. But what I'm looking for, aha! The mechanic station. Uh, yeah, and it appears like all of these, I mean, it's really not that crazy. Just gotta get some more wood and some more stone. All of their, they, they all appear to be pretty basic uh, crafting stuff. Although I'm not gonna lie, can I just buy some wood? Oh, let's go. I'm gonna do that because I am lazy. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, 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 bum. Let's just go ahead and cop like about 2,000 of that bad boy. And let's get about 2,000 of this bad boy. I mean, we got silver for a reason, man. Let's put that thing to use. Oh, that's the limit? Daily limit is 15,000. I'm buying, oh, do you buy this in tens at a time? Uh, Not enough room in the backpack. What? Not enough room in my backpack? What you mean, my boy? Does my backpack have that much stuff? My backpack, oh, we are almost at capacity. Oh, we did also get this Raven HK416 finish. Boom, let's go and use that. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess it is going to take up some inventory room. Uh, All right, well, in that case, why don't we go over here? Uh, let's go back over to the da -da 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 production stone supplies. Let's go and get, uh, I mean, I don't know why it's yelling at me for getting a thousand. Okay, there we go. Boom. We got enough. That should be plenty, plenty for us to be able to go ahead and craft a few of these bad boys over here within the production side of things. We are going to want the mechanic station for sure. Oh, I'm not a high enough character level for the deconstruction bench. All right, so we'll get around to that. Uh, definitely gonna wanna get our hands on the mechanic station so we can go ahead and continue that little tutorial quest that we are doing. Bang, that thing's nice and crafted. We will do some actual base building and like building walls and stuff too. I just wanna kinda like start out here with uh, getting some of these workbenches and stuff uh, thrown down. Let's go and put that bad boy. Uh, I like you in this corner for now. I'll try to put you in like an actual like garage type structure that I'm gonna do. Oh, we just learned a blueprint for a, uh, a new motorcycle. Love to see that, the bullfighter. BL. Uh, but now, okay, so what do we got? We got the mechanic station. We got the construction workbench. We got the workbench. We got the equipment repair table. And we got the raw material workbench. Are there anything else? Any new workbenches that we can still go ahead and craft over here? Uh, da, da, da. I wish there was a dedicated, just like, I mean, like a dedicated, I mean, there's a dedicated tab. I just hate that you have to click so much to get it. I mean, I do think we're going to need a blueprint drafting table. I don't believe we have that. We have a grill. Uh, we have a workbench. Yeah. Okay. So I think the only other thing we really need to do here, I get it. I got the formula. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, it's going to be the blueprint drafting table. So we can go ahead and learn some new blueprints. Bang. Oh, we just got a title unlocked. That's cool. We love to see that. Uh, cause yeah, I do not see a blueprint workbench around here. That is not the button I meant to press. I meant to press uh, Z over there. And then let's go and put this blueprint bad boy right up against this wall. Let's exit out of there and let's see what we got over here with these blueprints we can draw up. Oh, baby, look at that. Isn't that interesting? So, oh, so this is actually really freaking cool. So it appears like you can actually like import blueprints and essentially it's like, it's like pre-built bases. Uh, pretty much because like what it says over here in the information tab is that you can directly import a blueprint while in blueprint mode uh, prepare the materials shown in the blueprint to make quick use of them that is really freaking cool dude that's uh I I, I oh well, hot freaking dog all right and if I wanted to draw the blueprint or sure you want to produce and say blueprint paper even though the drawing function is at a 720 minute cooldown okay I don't want to do blueprint paper quite yet but that's cool to know that we got access to that via this workbench and then over here in the mechanic station uh for vehicle repair I mean oh there's that x button uh this thing's still doing pretty good on durability I'm not in too much of a rush uh to do that we will be able to unlock a car and a jeep eventually though that's gonna be nice uh now actually if we do want to craft those what is that gonna take we gotta get the formula for these bad boys and how do we get those formulas that is going to be from the camp shop you can purchase after you join a camp and the camp supply station reaches level four and then blue over here if we preview that oh did not mean to preview that i meant to how do we get that formula is that also gonna be from the exploration shop Oh, okay, okay. Wait, so how many, uh, oh, is it, it's, we don't have it yet. It's probably going to be unlocked in a future location. Noted. All right, well, good to know. I definitely am intrigued in joining a camp or more importantly, creating a camp for the all of us and we can have our own little camp here in Undone. I think that's a pretty good idea. What do y'all think? 
Uh, well, for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and join that camp because they're already absolutely filled to the brim. So I'll just do this for the time being, but I am not opposed to creating our very own camp. So if y'all are interested, let me know in that comment section down below, man, because that could be very, very, very good. If you ask me, I believe this is a level two camp by the looks of it there. So I don't think we're gonna have access to the blueprint shop. Oh, say hello. Uh, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna need this camp to get its camp supply station up to level four. But yeah, let me know in that comment section down below if y'all would be interested in getting getting a camp together. I am in, I believe it's called the Swan Lake server. I think we have to be on the same server if y'all do want to uh, join in on this action. Just giving y'all a little bit of a heads up there. But let, let me know in that comment section down below. I would not be opposed to, you know, making our own little camp here and having some fun that way. Our inventory is also getting really full. So a uh, great opportunity for us to go ahead and put stuff away. Uh, we have nothing of the same type to transfer. That's a bummer. Honestly, this might just be a great excuse for us to go ahead and start like dismantling a bunch of this kind of like leftover armor we've got because like it's not as good as the armor that we're rocking now. So let's just go ahead and do that. Free up a little bit of inventory space while we are at it. And actually we should go ahead and upgrade uh, some of our armor as well because we got all this armor over here and I think it's only fair that we can either reinforce it or enhance it and uh, since we got plenty of these bad boys from everything that we've been getting up to let's get to enhancing some of this stuff man and I think this will probably be the same thing we can get it up to level 12 or oh can I enhance my AK some more no I can't okay so it caps out at level 12 uh, we got it at level 30 before we can enhance it some more but uh yeah we'll go ahead and get some uh, a little bit of enhancement going here so we are even more armored and well prepared for the trials and tribulations that are going to be coming our way and i'm just trying to spread out the level a little bit across all of these bada bing bada boom you love to see that and okay we are absolutely capped out on those that free up some inventory room a eh, little bit not a whole ton but a uh, tiny little bit over there uh great excuse for us to go out and actually put some stuff away too while we are at it all righty though we got some new workbenches thrown down now let's go and take this opportunity to actually do a little bit of proper building here now check this out we can actually make our way up here to the homestead template and there's a bunch of kind of like a kind of pre-built essentially that uh we could go ahead and i mean for example i'm just i'm scrolling through here this mountainside abode looks pretty cool uh if we go ahead and press quick own on that it's gonna tell us everything that we need and we can actually make our way over here to fast crafting and it tells us everything we're gonna essentially need to build this thing this is actually i think such a cool feature because we'll essentially be able to like you know, you can kind of build the bones for your base. And then once you kind of have like this pre-built structure, kind of like, you know, serving as your kind of like main base from there, you can kind of like build out and expand it on your own as you see fit. And I kind of really like that idea. So, I mean, I think we take this opportunity to get all of this stuff and uh, do exactly what the game. I mean, we got a little pre-built here that we can leverage. Why don't we go ahead and leverage it man you know so let's go ahead and actually get our hands i mean 14 cement over here from the building shop let's go ahead and do that we should have enough silver to get this done although i did just spend a bunch of silver uh whatchamacall with other things oh let's go back over here to quick own go to fast crafting uh we are gonna need to get our hands on do, 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 a little bit of the we're gonna need a lot of bit of wood actually now that i now that i mentioned that uh and a ton of super glue so all right let's get our hands on uh, what do we have to get like 200 super glue over here is that gonna break the bank a lot that's about 4k uh we can afford that i don't think that's too bad over there let's go ahead and back up from there uh and then go over here into the fast crafting uh and then wood we're gonna need a lot of wood oh and like four more of uh like four four more super glue gosh darn it okay so let's get that wood and then four super glue so for the wood we're gonna need about let's call it thirteen thousand. i hope i have the inventory room for that but we shall see uh 13,000. Boop 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 boop. Uh my entry limit has been reached. Okay, well, I'll just do that for now and then I guess we have to do this like 3,000 at a time. So, I will continue doing this for one more time after this. And I have not enough room in my backpack. Okay, so quick quick little side note here before we continue building this bad boy up. Let's uh, exit out of that. Uh, I should actually have another over here in our interior. Yes, 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 yes. This simple cabinet. Lovely. Let's go ahead and just kind of place that bad boy right over there. And that should give us a little bit more storage room. We will take advantage of the storage room. Uh, and actually, another thing that I wonder really quickly. If I put wood away into there, for example, and I put stone away into there, for example, 
Can we still use that one building? Or do I have to grab that out of the chest in order to, uh, to build? So if we go into like the homestead template, is it going to tell us that I don't have the materials? Or are we going to be fine? Uh, if we go to fast crafting. Okay, so no, the materials still count. Okay, perfecto, baby. Uh, so we got to get about four, 4,000 more wood and then four more super glue. Let's do that. 4,000 wood uh, over here into the supplies shop. Let's get 3,000 of that. And then 1,000 of you. Well, bang. Uh, we need four more super glue, I believe it was. Where is that going to be in a different shop? I think that's probably going to be in a different shop. Okay, let's go back to the materials. Go back to fast crafting. Uh, super glue. Let's get obtain. Uh, building shop. Let's get four more of those bad boys. We'll bang. And okay, back to the mountainside abode. Go over here. Go into fast crafting. Uh, we're gonna have to get some glass. Actually, it looks like. Oh, and some sheet metal too. While we're at it, what would it take to? Can I also get? No, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to build the sheet material. Oh, that might get a little bit pricey now that I think about it. But all right, everything that we need over here in the left column is full. So if I press confirm, will that craft like everything we need in the left column? Or okay. Oh, whoa, goodness gracious! That just crafted a lot of stuff. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right. Uh, now if we go into fast crafting. It says we're still gonna need these things, uh, but these just gotta look like decorations and kinda like extra stuff. So we might just be missing a few windows and stuff until we get our hands on glass, cement, and sheet metal. But yeah, this is just like the fine decoration side of things. Okay, and unfortunately, yeah. So we're gonna run a little bit short on the glass here because I have completely tapped out on silver at the moment. Uh, so before we can continue this, we might need to get our hands on a little bit more silver. Is there perhaps any, you know, events going on that could help a man get some silver? I mean, there's a bunch of stuff over here that we could claim. So let's get to claiming this stuff. Bang, we got a thousand silver out of that actually really quickly. So that is nice. Well, bang, we just got 1,500 talent points, which we'll definitely take that. I mean, that is true. We do have a bunch of stuff that we can go ahead and claim on this side. Oh, we got our little reward of 1,500 uh, gold, or not gold, but uh, silver just from joining in uh, right there and logging in. We can go ahead and claim that and get 3,000 more silver. Open up some of these crates that we just got. Okay, things are starting to come together, baby. <laughs> I love all the stuff that just like absolutely hand out on day four. Another 3,000 silver. I, I guess I forgot to log it on day three. Oh no, we can, we can go ahead and retroactively claim it. Okay, cool, because I was about to say, I definitely logged it yesterday, dude. What are you talking about? Uh, gift to the Ravens. Uh, we can request that. Oh, please select your supplies. Um, I don't know exactly what I want to request yet, so I'll get back to that. Over here on the daily limit, we can get a little bit of silver over there as well. And okay, now if we make our way back into building and back into the homestead template and uh, that's not the one that we had selected. We are going to want the mountainside abode. View the materials. Go to fast crafting. And we just got to get our hands on six more glass. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lovely. Purchase that. Uh, and then we are going to want to get our hands on as well. Over here on the fast crafting. 32 sheet material. Unfortunately, we can only get that from the construction bench. Uh, so, and that's going to require, how much is it for each sheet material again? I forgot off the top of my head. Was it five or two uh, of the thing, right? Well, what was it for the sheet material again? It was, we need two super glue. So if we need 32, we got to buy 64 super glue. Let's go and get uh, 64 of you. Uh, we still got plenty of silver for that. Love to see that. And then we are going to have to get a ton of wood as well. 80 for one. So it's going to be 800 for 10. We got to get 32. Let's just get 3,000 uh, from the store. Might as well, man. We got we got the supplies for it. Uh, wood bang. Let's get 3,000 of that. And now we should be able to craft up 32 of these bad boys. We can only do 20 at a time. Uh, but after that's done, wood bang. We'll get 12 more. And ladies and gentlemen, I believe... There is a base about to be awaiting us. We just gotta go into the build mode, into the homestead template, into the, not you, I wanna build the cool mountainside boat. View the materials, go to fast crafting, get the rest of that, and without further ado, bada bing. Oh, the template has no items that you can craft. Oh, wait, we still gotta, oh, I derped hard. Uh, I gotta obtain these blueprints. We can do that from the construction bench. 
Let's go and do that really quick. <laughs> and actually, it appears like that's gonna need homestead level five. So perhaps we will uh, do another homestead level up over here. Oh, and it gets a little bit pricier this time around. Can I perhaps just get these from, uh, I can craft them at the workbench, it appears. Pretty much, yeah, all of these can be just crafted at the workbench or we can get them from the trading post. Uh, oh, and we got a level 30. Dang, so there might be some levels we gotta get. Mm. And all right, I've been busy as heck. If you can't tell over here in the top of that corner of the screen, I am now level 29. Uh, we still need about 3,500 XP until we hit level 30 and I can unlock those blueprints by upgrading our settlement. But I, I've, I maxed out on our experience from doing the daily activities. So that means that we're continuing with the main quest. And Kane should be able to help us out over here. So Kane, what's up? Redwood Outpost rescued some evacuees from Lake Town this afternoon. Sherry asked for assistance, so I told her I'd send you. I'll be there. Supposedly, Lake Town was surrounded by zombies before it fell, so there are a lot of wounded people who need treatment and need it quick. Sounds good. People are our most important asset these days, so I want you to help Sherry as much as you can. Some say that a faction called the Reavers was behind this, and we might be on their turf, so we gotta be extra careful. I feel like I've been murdering a ton of Reavers lately, but, uh, all right. With that, let's get this quest going. Done huge damage in Redwood Forest, but we still haven't managed to get enough intel on them. All right, well, what are they like? Those thugs called the Reavers. Their boss is named Rob Diesel. They mainly hang around the Redwood Forest, ambushing survivors and taking their supplies. Okay. They've got about 80 members, usually travel by car, and they got four or five strongholds. Sounds good. Well, let's go to the top side and see if we can't do something about these Reaver dudes. And we're going in on the helicopter! Helicopter! Lake Town and Redwoods look out for each other. So naturally, Redwood Outpost had to mobilize when we Am I driving or like, oh, there we go. Okay, it wasn't moving. <laughs> right now is medical personnel and supplies. Dr. Michael also went down there after he heard about the news. We're almost at 30. We're so here. close. We might have to deal with worse things going forward. They're not like zombies. They're brutal, they're treacherous, and they have guns. You could say they're an army. We've got to be vigilant. Our past experience might not be too helpful here. So if you run into something you don't know how to deal with, let me know immediately. I can deal with everything, man. Don't even worry about it. How much XP are we going to get for doing this mission? A thousand? All right. Well, maybe this... Maybe these, like, missions are all just steps, so when we talk to Sherry, we get a thousand XP, and then whatever the next step is, we'll get a thousand. Because, like, we already got, like, two thousand experience, and I, all I did was talk to Kane twice, so I think that might be how it works. Uh, so, I ain't complaining, and we are back at the Redwood Outpost! Can I exit the vehicle? There we go. I have exited the vehicle. I could've just traveled, dude. I don't know why they had to hit me with the helicopter VIP treatment. I'll take it, though. I ain't complaining. I'm just... Observing. Sherry, Sherry, Sherry. Here. So You're finally here. Kane said they didn't have enough people at the shelter. So I thought I had to wait a day or two. No, nah, my right town was almost completely destroyed by the time we got here. Nelson had a very hard time rescuing these people. Oh, you don't say. Unfortunately, we couldn't reach some of the others and had to leave with who we could. The chances are slim. But I hope they make it out alive. I'll save them. Most Don't worry. Most of them are still in shock. Anyway, I have a lot on my plate right now. So would you help me bandage their wounds and maybe comfort them a bit? Oh, that's all I got to do? Well, dang, I thought I was going to go be fighting some reavers and stuff. No, I'll just uh, bandage you guys like, hey, they're there. They're there. Enjoy this band-aid. That's right. Yeah, you feeling better? Yeah, boom. Get comforted. Throw me on a mattress and call me a comforter, baby. That's what I do. You, wounded. Feel comfortable. Now, take this bandage. Boom. Beautiful. Look at all that it's comfort. They're drowning in comfort. That's what I'm able to do, baby. And is this gonna be the last one for the quest? And then we might get that last thousand XP we need and hit level 30? Uh, no, I still gotta talk to Sherry, Sherry, Sherry. I am so close. I need, like, dude, Sherry, just give me the last thousand experience I need so I can go and build this thing. I really want to build this base because we're so freaking close. I've got all the materials. I just got to unlock the stupid stuff. Here for a while. Thank you. Things are always a little better with your help. No problem, Sherry. After that, maybe help put up some tents so that they can get settled in. I see space in the back of the room. Why don't we put up the tents over there? Yeah, that spot looks good. This ordeal has traumatized them in more ways than one. 
After they've settled down, go talk to Dawson, Vivian, and Philip. Well, guess what, baby? They can wait, cause I hit level 30. I've got more important things to do. <laughs> the 10 can wait, y'all will be fine. It's it's the middle of summer, man. Y'all are not gonna be cold, but uh, I, I am going to need to go home. I mean, really, I should just hop on the motorcycle. It really is not that far away, but whoa! And, dude, I'm not gonna lie, that also means we should now have access to a thunderstorm in the area. Oh, wow, would you look at that? Happy I didn't get struck by that. That would've hurt. Uh, we should now have access to a heavy weapon, uh, which is unlocked at level 30. Which is exhilarating, but okie dokie. Uh, the homestead management. Uh, I believe we now are, yes, at level 30. I just got to build, uh, crude leather, yarn, and a wooden board. Let's go do that. And all right, threw a bunch of stuff in here. Hopefully this turns into what we need. That's what I'm hoping for. We got a bunch of stuff. Uh, Redwood Zebra Cop. Okay, well, it, we just did we just get refunded everything that we just used? I, I'm, I'm confused. Did we? Why, why did I just get back the same stuff that we had? Okay, no, there's stuff here. There's stuff here. We got leather. We got plywood boards. I I don't know if this is the right stuff, however. Good news, gentlemen. Uh, and I'm actually just the dingus. Uh, I just gotta go into here and then go into this menu and well, bang, we can craft whatever we need. One yarn it coming right up. After that, we're gonna have some crude leather coming our way. I'm just gonna have to craft up a little bit of grease because I need about 15 of that stuff. So let's go and get about 15 of that stuff. Good thing that I have all this extra meat that'll come in handy. Uh, then we'll be able to get the crude leather that we need. And then from there, there, the last thing that we needed was going to be a wooden board. And that wooden board should be right over here. I just need an animal tooth that I do not have. Hmm. Well, time to go and get one animal tooth from hunting some animals. I'm sorry, animals, you're in for a world of pain. Ah, hey, we got some animal teeth. Beautiful, the first bear I butcher. You love to see that. We'd call that efficiency. Get out of here, zombie deer. I don't have time for you. Time to make our way back to base and craft this thing. And all right, the time has finally arrived. Where are you, wooden board, wooden board? Animal tooth, I just got three of these, didn't I? Or do I have to uh, like refine it first? I, is, that, is that what I have to do, potentially? Yeah, 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 all right. You wanna max these out, add them to the workbench and refine them. And you better work, because if not, I'm gonna be very upset with you. Boom. Three refined animal teeth. Now we can make our way over to the workbench. Now we can go and craft the final wooden board that we need. And the next settlement level will be ours. And I, I swear, if there's something else that is gonna stop me from finally building our base, because I feel like I have been on the ping pong journey of the century, just going back and forth and back and forth. And man, if I am not allowed to do what I want to do, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. We've got everything we need. Let's upgrade to level five. Our level cap has increased significantly. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And now, if we make our way into the homestead and we go into the crafting menu, we go into the homestead template and we go into the mountainside abode and we press quick own. And we go to fast crafting and we should be, I still don't, I still don't know how to craft these. How do I find the things for these? How do I find these blueprints? Don't you freaking dare. Don't you dare. What, what do I need? Why can't I do this? Huh? Huh? Oh, why is there a cutscene? Interesting. Well, he's getting absolutely wrecked. That katana's dope, by the way. Uh, oh, I get a free draw. Let's do it. I'm drawing one. What's in What's in the box? Royal blue. Cool. Uh, now, all right. Here's the more important thing. How do I get our hands on that like glass stuff? Or do I even need that fancy glass stuff? Or can I just like ignore it? Like, if I go to quick own, right? And if we go into fast crafting. Are, are these, like, necessarily required? They are required. Oh, you... All right, so I believe we can unlock it from here. Uh, and then just, I mean, dr uh, draw some of these. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the currency required for this. 
Uh, which leaves us in a between a rock and a hard place. Unless we can get it directly from the homestead. Oh, we can! It just requires gold! I see. That's... That hurts. But maybe I can get my hands on a little more gold somehow. Because we can do- we, we don't have a thousand of that. So this could come in handy. Oh ho ho! Good news, ladies and gentlemen! I forgot we got some pre-registration rewards with about 2,000 gold coming our way. That's gonna be cash money. I'm pretty sure I should be getting some gold uh, coming our way as well. Yep, for linking my email. Oh, baby. So that's gonna be 2,000 gold coming our way. Uh, plus another 2,000. I believe we are about to get our hands on 4,000 gold. So yeah, if you guys, that, that, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh wait, there's gonna be multiple sets of gold. Oh, we are about to be positively swimming in gold. Hold on, I'm just, I'm gonna press claim all and we're just gonna bask in the glory of everything. And yeah, just open up all these packs that we just got. We just got an undone treasure chest. That seems freaking really nice. Uh, And now when I go to the store, we have 3,000 gold. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is nice. Also, wait, really quickly hold up because I actually should have even more than that. Just that my inventory was full when I claimed, when I hit claim all, so we didn't actually get everything. That's good. That would have been a bummer. Uh, let's specifically claim the ones that give us gold and I'll come back and claim the rest because there's still a lot over here that we absolutely are going to want to grab because, oh yeah, that's some nice stuff, but whoo -ho -ho. Hold on, so now if we look at this store, we got 7,000 gold! Oh, that is... That's nice. That's nice. That's nifty. That's thrifty. That's... Oh, 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 oh. A thing of beauty. All right. Uh, whew. Got a little distracted. Uh, so, okay. We're gonna need to get those three blueprints for this. Let's go back to the homestead template. Let's go back to our boy, the mountainside abode. Uh, let's uh, go to fast crafting. And we need the glass with trim, glass partition, and grid glass. Trim glass partition. Here, we got the trim. Here, we got the glass. And here, we've got the partition pane. And I think that finally, finally, we can craft all the materials. And after, dude, I've literally been recording this video for like hours at this point. I do believe that this means that we should be able to not enough materials to use the template all right well luckily uh we can set these things that we don't have to zero and it should be okay because yeah the only things we don't have are this so you're going down to zero uh you're going down to zero and you my friend are gonna be going down to zero and now we are at 408 out of 408. Which means that when we press quick own, remember, we're gonna get everything returned. Uh, food place will be cleared, yada, yada, yada. Without further ado, let's confirm it. And look at it. Look at my beautiful new home. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen. Isn't it glorious? And okay, they keep the cabinets here, which is nice because, uh, yeah, that, that, that would have been a pain if I lost everything that was stored in there. But ladies and gentlemen, I mean, obviously, we still got to get, like, some, some of the ability to, like, color this. Because currently, it's just still kind of, like, just some wood and nothing too crazy. But, oh my goodness gracious, ladies and gentlemen, we have a home. We have a literal home. I don't know what's with this awkwardly placed staircase here, but it exists for some reason. Uh, that's interesting. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a roof or something, but whatever, dude. I don't even care because we now have access to this entire home. Is there like a way down from here? No, there's like no like proper stairs. You got to like really access it uh, from down here, but check this out. I'm not going to lie. I am a big fan of that quick build feature. It's definitely a pain to get everything put together. But like, once you get it put together, you can get a nice, proper little house. And now it's just going to be a matter of us uh, freaking building stuff. Because uh, we should have uh, quite a few things. So let's go and first things first. We're going to want to move this cabinet uh, inside of our, our little home. Uh, so why don't we... This looks like a nice corner for a cat. That's not going to fit the cabinet. I think it's too big. Uh, will this fit here? It will. Let's just push that as far up against the corner as we can. Well, bang. That's a nice little place for a cabinet. I like it. We'll throw all these, like, uh, whatchamacallit, all these workbenches down, too. And, whew, ladies and gentlemen, 
we are looking to be in good shape. Obviously, I'm going to be wanting to build uh, some more of these uh, uh, like storages and stuff because we definitely don't have enough storage space and we positively could use some more. But let's go and throw that thing into that little corner there. I like that. I like the way that's getting uh, put together. Uh, why don't we I want the equipment? Uh, I mean, no, 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 let's go with the let's get the construction workbench We definitely want this close to the door so we can be able to like build and stuff easily So I like this to be like a little like construction corner uh, Let's just go and boop throw that thing down right over there uh, and then next to that, I mean, it's going to be good for us. I mean, let's just have, uh, man, I mean, we need the equipment workbench for crafting stuff sometimes too. Uh, so let's just try to have all the workbenches kind of in this corner. I kind of like that. Uh, I like that idea uh, for the most part. Uh, the bed and stuff and everything will put away. Oh, the homestead, uh, the homestead message board. Hey, let's throw this thing down uh, somewhere too. I'll just put this. Uh, can I rotate this so it's actually facing me? Yeah, there we go. Uh, I was going to say, we can just throw that down. Uh, right there, boom. Right, right, right in front of home. I think that's a good place to throw that thing. The grill. I mean, it's a grill, man. You want to be able to grill. Uh, I, I think we do. I, I kind of like having it over here. I'm not going to lie. Like a nice little like overlook. You know, I think that looks nice. So you can have a nice view while you're grilling. I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan. Of, I, I seriously got to get this stuff, uh, get a paint job applied on this. Looks. I'm not going to lie. It does look a little, a little rough around the edges. Uh, the bed. I feel like we're going to want to throw the bed uh upstairs you know like uh, oh this is this is a beautiful little bedroom here how how can you not love this yeah 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 yeah. i, li I like this i like this little bedroom here uh the nice view to wake up to all this sun and natural light streaming in dude i feel like i keep getting lost and then just like finding new ways to walk around this house i freaking love this uh so we'll leave that there uh wallpapers i just have royal i only have five of this royal wallpaper um so i'm not gonna really uh, do too much with that at the moment. Uh, I still have like one of those high staircases that we don't really need at the moment. Uh, but let's make our way back down over here. And let's get the raw materials. We might be able to just sneak that. Yeah, nice, mate. Just sneak it right in that cheeky little corner. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, and then we will get a normal workbench up in here too. Love it, love it, love it. And then from there... I mean, the blueprint workbench. Can I just, like, sneak you in this way? That'd be... Oh, that'd be so perfect. I am just, like, positively cramming this corner with with just all the workbench. This is the workbench corner, okay? That, that That is the job of that corner, and it will continue to be exactly that. And then the mechanic bench. Uh, dude, I got... You know what the next thing I might try to build uh, on my own once we get the materials is, like, a garage. I think a garage would be uh, pretty cool. Now, this thing... Uh, I'm just gonna put you on the outside because you're like a, I don't know, man, like mechanic stuff, mechanical things. I don't know. The, we'll, we'll call this the garage. It's not much of a crazy garage, just like a stone floor, but it'll do. It'll do. It'll do. Uh, and with that, all of our workbenches are put back down. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I just, just, just welcome to a a proper home. Uh, like I said, we'll work on getting some uh, a paint job on here. It does look a little rough around the edges and like you might impale yourself with some splinters from just existing here, but dude, I love it. The open air design and everything. Good little view of the river, the freaking waterfall. Ah, oh, what is there not to love? I'm sorry. I'm having a great time building this, man. It, it, it was a pre boat but like, whew, this is a proper base. We got something to work with and I cannot wait it to expand upon this. But I think when we return, we might take a small little break from base building and get back to doing the main storyline. Uh, and also unlocking a heavy weapon because we are level 30, so we should now have access uh, to heavy weapons. We actually might just be able to like craft one of those if I'm not mistaken in, uh, where's our weapon crafting workbench? That is going to be, is that just gonna be the workbench? I believe so, okay, yeah, weapons. Uh, I mean, is there? Yeah, I mean, the, uh, those look pretty heavy duty to me. I might need to craft another iron alloy, but actually it appears like we are going to be ready to craft up one of these. So one of these is getting crafted. The question is, which one? The answer is uh, we shall see. We shall see. I mean, maybe we'll have some like resources too from our inbox that'll be able to help us out with that too. Cause as you all saw, we have a lot of stuff. So I don't know, time will tell. We will see a lot of great things coming our way in Undon. But with that said, with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's gonna go ahead and start breaking down this episode of Undon. Thank you guys a whole time for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.